Alrighty, we made it here to a customer. I got an itchy ear. Oh! Yeah, I thought I'd be smart by getting in early. Holy crap, you should see the amount of trucks that had the same idea as me. So my appointment wasn't until 9.30. I figured, oh, if I show up an hour early, it won't be bad, but... Yeah, not so much. There had to have been about like 30 trucks. Came up with the same bloody idea as me. So anyways, they took my paper. They go, yeah, okay, come back up to the gate here. At like, like they had me go in and then park. They have a section here that uh, they allow all the trucks to park. But it's just a steady line of trucks coming in. I mean a steady line. And there's still a shitload behind me that had the same idea, obviously. But it's a big distribution center here anyway. So it's not like, you know, they can only take one truck at a time. So, I mean... So, anywho, I guess we sit here and we'll go see them at uh, 9.15 is when she said to come up there. So that's what we're going to do. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go play on the computer for 45 minutes. Well, not quite. Half an hour or so. Why not? What the hell? Got nothing else to do, right? All right, you can see in the little mirror, I'm beside a fancy looking little Peterbilt. That's right. We're at the Ultramar Pipeline. We're all delivered. And we're beside a... Uh, Fancy International Lone Star. I don't know why they made the whole side uh, thing my do hickey my bobber chrome. That to me would be a lot of cleaning. Well, it looks nice, but I don't know how practical it is. Yeah, nothing's really. When it comes to accessories, nothing's really practical. But well, sort of. Anyways, we're sitting here at the Ultramar where I just put in my thingy madohickey saying I'm available for the load or a load. Hopefully they get me one. Hopefully business picks up here and I get a load, which would be nice. <clears throat> Preferably something going to Kitchener. I'm not sure if my battery's charging properly or not because the volt gauge is just not where it was when I first got the truck or not running at. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Although, unless the batteries are that depleted, but I highly doubt it because, I mean, it started up in the middle of the night. I don't know what time it was. And then this morning before I left uh, that little truck stop, it started again, the truck, and it was running. So, I don't know if it's not charging properly. It might be the little fuse on the box itself or on the uh, batteries. There's a little 20 or 30 amp fuse. can't remember what it is. I'm not pulling it apart to look at it. Not my job. Uh, they don't want me to, so... That way I get into Kitchener and uh, say, hey, shop, fix it. Either that or alternator, I'm not sure. So we'll get all the bugs in this truck worked out. So now we were playing video, but I think we're just going to go in the back and we're going to have an early lunch because it's almost 11 o'clock, 1047. So we're going to go in the back and have an early lunch. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a sandwich, I think. Not sure. Hey, what's for lunch today? You say cream cheese sandwich, some tomatoes, and maybe just a single cold hamburger. Alrighty, me and my dirty windshield are getting off. Waverly Road, Bowmanville. Next stop, fifth wheel truck stop. Or as I like to call it, the filthy wheel. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's filthy, it's just it rhymes. It's just a nickname that it's had for years and years and years and years and years and anybody who's been driving for any length of time in Ontario knows it as the Filthy Wheel. Ooh, can't find them, grind them. I hate this intersection. I don't know why they don't put a bloody light here. Today's probably not going to be so bad, but if we're late enough in the day. Come on, little right car. Hurry the heck up. But yeah, if you catch this at the wrong time of day, oh, it's a bugger trying to get out. Oh, let's see what kind of parking situation we have. Ah, it's going to be the question. Given the time of day, 6 o'clock, well, 6.07, we should still be all right. Yeah, I see my usual spots are open only downside is the sun is shining right into the windshield and we can get there by the car carrier eh, eh, the sun will still be shining in the windshield no matter where I park the sun's going to be shining in the windshield unless I park in the front row club
Woo. Dusty. It is. I don't want to park the bike over there where the B train is. No, nope, not going to do that. That's just too freaking noisy in that corner. I originally wanted to park where this white truck is, but if you go too far in, like where this flatbed's trying to come out, you end up uh, not being able to get out. So, dude, you can't get in the store shirtless. Just you go back to your truck and get your shirt on. Although you look like you could use a tan, and white as a ghost, man. Got the farmer's tan thing happening. Alright, well, we'll park over here. I normally park. I'm going to back it down in between the two trailers. It was a little muddy there. I didn't like that idea. I'll back it down beside this other international. How is it looking down there? Eh, I've seen better, but we'll park it there anyways. I know, magically. Uh, I pressed the button by accident. Was, oh well. So, we'll just cover up with the curtain here. In a second, we've got surveys. I don't even know if you can see it because of the light. 83 kilometers. Uh, just under an hour. That won't be too bad. Come on, shut up. There we go. Alright, so we're going to do dinner. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I'm either going to have hot dogs again. Or. Campbell's Chunky. I don't feel like pulling out the fry pan to do uh, grilled cheese. So. You have 5 hours and 22 minutes of remaining drive time. But I don't want to drive it. Ugh. Screw you. There we shut you up. Turn the volume down. God damn pesky. Why is my computer Qualcomm showing like no signal now? Really? Seriously? Okay, now it went off. That's what keeps holy frick, it's getting dusty in here. Always carry Swiffers, they're great. Great for keeping the truck clean or for helping you keep it clean i should say of course you actually got to use it oh jesus murphy right in my face there oh he's back up guys jeez right in my face like that what's up with that i'm gonna give you a dusting figured you were sitting there we'll dust your faces off that's what, ow ow i hit my hand all right, let's go in the back and see what we're going to have for dinner. Come on. Now. I don't know why I pressed the off button. we got to turn on our thingy. Okay, so it's actually blowing right now in regular fan mode. So if it's not too cold you can or warm, you can keep it like that. But otherwise, you just press this button here. You can't even hear it. Well, I can hear it, but you guys can't. So she just turned on. I could hear it go. And she's on. Put you boogers right there. Don't move. Oh, what are we going to have? Okay, so the choices are hot dogs or chicken corn chowder. What do you think? We're going with the chicken corn chowder. Where do I want hot dogs? Hmm. That's a good question. How about I keep it a surprise and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> All right, decision's in. We're having hot dogs. Screw it. Yep, I know, two nights in a row, but ask me if I care. It's simple. It's easy. That's what we're having. That's all there's to it. You got it? So, anyways, yeah. We did it in the kettle, uh, boiled water. 
put our hot dogs in the container. Can just stop in this We're good to go.